Well, good morning, girls. There's Miss Melly. There's Miss Tilly. We got your we got your your fence today. Yeah. Let's go take a look, Melly. Come on. Let's go see what I got you. All right, guys. I got one day of good weather, and I went and bought a kennel. And this will allow. It'll be about 20 feet long, 10 feet wide. Plenty, plenty of space for Millie to come outside. And I'm going to put it, have one panel coming out from the edge of the house, have it come down this way, and then back to the house. That is the quickest and easiest and most temporary way I can puppies. contain her Ooh, until, she, until she has her puppies. And uh, I'll cut a hole probably in the bottom of this door so she can enter into the screen patio here. And they've got their little playpen beds. And uh, that'll contain those puppies and give her a nice little warm bed to sleep in. Eunice Henderson sent those to me. Thank you, Eunice. Those are great. What do you think of that? Now, I got to figure out what to do with this one. I haven't figured that out yet. And she's going to the vet Monday. She's going to get spayed, so she's going to need a place to, to recover from that. So, uh... Man, the stress of trying to figure this out, guys. It's beyond something. Oh, man. But we'll get it figured out. So I'm going to spend the next hour or so putting that kennel up. And we'll be good. And I got him some straw. What is he, what is he barking at over here? What are you going nuts about, boy? Huh? What was that blood curling yelp about? It's always something with that boy. Look at that. Rooster got new fresh straw. You guys got fresh straw. So I don't want to hear any complaints. You already had your treats. All right. Let's get. I got to get busy, man. I ain't got time. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Do -de -do. All right, I gotta go over this whole area pretty good with a magnet. I have done work here. See? Gotta get all these screws picked up if there's any. Anything that can they could step on it would hurt them. We don't want that. Over here, I'm going to have to put a little section of that fence I use for rooster yard. Otherwise, they won't meet up right. You'll see when I get to it. It's like metal detecting, only you know whatever you find is going to be junk. These things are very handy to have. Alright, I'll get this done and we'll come back. All right, got the first section put together. These are rather simple to uh, put together. It's just a couple of these clamps on each one. The hardest part of doing this was finding this wrench. I couldn't find a wrench. So I'm gonna add another one to here, and then one on the end, and we're done. And that's gonna give them plenty of room. Plenty of room, considering it's gonna be 20 feet long. So, 
I hate containing any dogs, but it has to be done, or she's not going to have a safe place to have those puppies. Yeah. All right, let me get the other panel attached. All right, I got all four panels up. Plenty of space. Plenty. And this is a, the part where I got to add a section. I got one over there at the garden. Uh, because, as you can see, we got that part of the wall that comes out so they wouldn't be even so no biggie and then i'm going to take a couple of bales of straw and spread out in here give them a nice little area and because it's pretty muddy right here i doubt they're gonna want to be in that much but the straw will take care of that and uh that's all it needs to be i don't see her or tilly trying to escape and if they do you know the main reason for this is for Millie and the puppies keep them safe and Tilly I'm not real concerned about but we are taking her to the vet Monday to get spayed she's gonna need a place to relax where you know other dogs can't get to her so I haven't quite figured that out yet but we will all right let me get busy on finishing this one little section up here uh, that should be rather simple all right now all that's left to do is i have to get in here and get some of the things i don't want chewed up out of the way uh that's about it i got their heater in so temperatures don't look too bad maybe the next two days but other than that we're going back up in the 50s and 60s so but it is still february so at least in here they'll have a heated room I'm not going to do anything else with insulation. It's fine. It'll stay with that heater. It'll stay warm in here. So they'll be good. Uh, just make sure where them puppies are, they'll, that it's warm. And I just took a piece of fence I had at the garden for a trellis. And this, I ain't going for pretty. I'm going for very temporary. Two months tops, this will be up. Then I'm going to pull it back down. Uh, maybe incorporate it over there with Libby's kennel. Make hers bigger. I don't know. But this was the <coughs> easiest route rather than to buy fence panels. Fence panels were $65 a piece. And I got this whole kennel, I think, for $369. And it's already got the gate. It's already ready, you know. It's got the frame, the gate. So it was the best way to go. And then I can just easily take it back down. So this is where they're going to be for the next couple months. Ain't going to kill them. They'll be fine. They'll be safe. No other dogs can get to them. They'll have good warm cover to come in out of the weather. It don't get better than that for a dog. Unless they're in the house and they're not going to be in the house. Alright, all I did here, since I did not want to nail anything into the house, I just drove a T-post down, wired that to the T-post. I don't think these two dogs are going to be the kind that are going to be trying to escape. And I think what I'm going to do... Tilly's already been in there checking it out. Is in the morning, I just let them out. And as soon as Millie has puppies, she's going to want to be in there anyway. So I just let them out in the morning, make sure they're put up at night. Tilly's already been looking. She knows what it is. Come here, Tilly. You want to come see? I'm not going to lock you in here. And I took that bottom panel off the door. And I'm going to cut a piece of that foam like... Uh, Waldo and Lily have, but I want them to see this for a day or so so they know how to get in and out. If I was to put that foam out on there now, they may not figure that out. So they're gonna they're gonna be put in here tonight. You gotta take your medicines tonight, don't you? Yeah, I haven't heard you coughing. I haven't heard you do any coughing. It's these big ears. That's what it is. It's the big ears you got. What's Libby doing? Oh, she's over there in her straw. Yep, everybody's enjoying this beautiful weather. It's going away tonight. <laughs> Walked right in yourself, didn't you? All right, man, I think we're done in here. And, uh, you know, this area is just, I'm going to probably let them out. Well, after Millie has the babies, I'm probably just going to let them out every day. Uh, they don't leave the property, but uh, yeah, it'll keep them safe. If I have to go somewhere, I know that they're they're not out in the road. You need to hush over there. It is an hour away from supper time, and I'm not going to listen to you. Why are you so bad sometimes? 
All you want to do is get in trouble. You're starting to get white-faced. Yeah. It's because you worry too much. Oh, I'm going to go see the flood. Let's go back and see the flood. And I'll take you for a walk later. You coming, Millie? Or Tilly? Uh, I think I'm going to rename all the dogs. Well, look who we got out here. Mr. Waddles. Mr. Waddles Waddleson. He's got him some new straw out here. Yep. He don't like being bothered. Alright. Let's walk away from that tree, uh, Tilly. I never get their names right. Never. I go through the whole line of them. Tilly, Millie, Lily. Lily, I never get her name right. Yeah, water, water ran off quite a bit. Boy, it sure greened up that pasture. Yeah, and there's that mess. You can hear it, though. You couldn't really see it in that short I did yesterday because I used my cell phone, plus it was raining. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see it anyway, but... See if you can hear it. Nope, all I hear is Livy. You should be able to hear that. Yeah, I went out front. I had a lake and over there, up there by my mailbox. I had to go do some digging, get the water to run off into the ditch. But uh, I guess we got more rain coming. Tilly, don't get around that tree. I got to get that thing down. Now, getting the truck back here is a feat. That's why I have not done that. You got, I got all these rock trails. I imagine that truck could drive right over those rocks, but, you know, I got all this junk laying there. Uh, be a little tight squeeze coming in through these trees. But I'm gonna, looks like I'm going to have to do that because it needs to be pulled down. I'm tired of showing that tree. It's, it's just hogging up all my videos, man. All right. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Not a very long video today, but wanted to show especially the ones who have donated to the dogs that the money is going to good use i even got enough i believe i still got enough to pay for uh tilly spay on monday so that's good uh you guys you guys are great she's not looking forward to it i'm sure but it'll be make a better life for her yes i hear you all right guys happy trails